So say somebody's looking for a protein powder. You go online and there's millions of options out there, anywhere from the big tubs of the muscle building, you know, on down the line. What does someone need to look for in a protein powder? What's, what's important? Well, first of all, number one, you gotta make sure that it has all eight essential amino acids in there. So it's a complete protein source. That's number one. That, that's by far the most important thing. And number two, you have to sort of prioritize what's important to you, right? What I mean by that is that they typically, a lot of times people have trouble with certain kinds of uh, cow's protein, you know, isolates and so on. And the reason is that there's a decent amount of data that cow's milk actually can cause, cow's milk and cow's protein, things from cows, can actually cause slight immune reaction, right? So a lot of times, you know, people have lactose intolerance, for instance, so that's a classic one. But there's other things where people with asthma sometimes get a little bit more mucus buildup and so on. And so it, the nice thing about goat is that it's hypoallergenic. This goat whey protein is hypoallergenic. And on top of that, there's actually a real decent data that it's actually beneficial in these situations, that it's actually beneficial for people who have asthma, who maybe even have rheumatoid arthritis, or who you know, have some allergies, that it's kind of like decreases your overall immune response. So if you fall into one of those categories, this is a great solution for you. Top of that, like I said, anyone dieting, you, you want to go to the goat, goat whey protein. If you're really strong, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you might want to go for the isolates, right? So I'll, I'll, being very, very honest, I'll say they're probably better off for going for one of those isolates and eating six prime rib steaks a night, you know. But uh, for the majority of people trying to live like a healthy life, I think a goat whey protein, which has all the essential amino acids of the whey without some of the negative X, is kind of the, probably the best uh, Thing. But the number one thing, no matter what you do, make sure it has all eight essential amino acids. So classically, you want to make sure that where is this coming from? Where is this protein coming from? You know, where is the farmer making sure that they're not handing antibiotics and so on, right? As, is, the, uh, 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 is it a clean process? Is it, you know, you know like I said, make sure that the, uh, the farmer is not, there's giving no hormones, it's hormone free, it's antibiotic free. Things like that, you know, and those kinds of things are kind of important, right? So you want to make sure that the uh, farmers where it's being sourced from have a good ethical background and good uh, health background where, you know, they're kind of doing it the right way. You know, and those are classic things you can look for. And you can also make sure a lot of times these protein shakes, uh, you want to make sure that the, uh, uh, for those who are interested, you want to make sure that they're mixed with, you know, something that's generally healthy for you. And so, you know, a lot of times people use these things like sunflower. Let's say then that's just non-GMO if you care about that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's a great thing to also mix it with. You know, just look on the product side, make sure it's not, you know, where is it coming from, what's it mixed with. Those are the final things I'd look for.